It's already Wednesday. I can't believe it how fast time is flying. I mean, it's zipping by out there. And we are, I mean, folks, we're loaded again today with some really powerful, important, and some genuinely hilarious stuff, such as Pencil Neck being scammed by a bunch of Russian comedians falling for a routine that they claimed that they had nude photos of Trump that they had given to Putin and Schiff tried everything he could to track it down. And we've got it all on audio. It's absolutely wonderful. And there's a reason why this stuff has been known for 10 or 12 months. The reason it's coming out now is because of his stupid little memo. Somebody on our team is really playing good offense here, and it's it's great to have you with us. 800-282-2882 if you want to be on the program. The email address, lrushbow at eibnet.us. Let's take a break. When we come back here, I'm going to start on phones. At the bottom of the hour, we will then get into the audio sound bites of Adam Schiff being pranked by comedians and having him fall for it. Hook, line, and sinker. A bunch of comedians called and told him they had nude photos of Trump and that they had given them to Putin and Putin was holding them to use at the right moment. And Schiff fell for all of it and tried to pursue it and get hold of the photos. We have it on audio. We'll be right back. The shifty pencil neck Adam Schiff sent his staff to try to collect classified materials for the FBI after Russian pranksters told him Putin has naked blackmail photos of Trump. Schiff fell for it and tried to get the photos. Audio coming up. But I want to now turn to Adam Pencilneck Schiff, the leader of the Democrats on the House Intelligence Committee. He's They call it the ranking member. That's, you know, Washington code work for the minority leader. Democrats are the minority in the House. So the Republicans have a couple more seats on the committee than Democrats do. It turns out that about 10 months ago, little pencil neck got scammed by a couple of Russian comedians who called his office and claimed that they knew that Vladimir Putin had blackmailable nude photos of Trump. Now, it's important to realize this news is 10 months old, but you're probably only hearing about it for the first time now because it, 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 of course, never made the drive-bys back then, 10 months ago, and other things uh, in our news rosters uh, had priority over it. There's a reason this stuff is surfacing now, and it's an indication our side is learning how to play the game. A 10-month-old story is brought back to life shortly after Little Pencil Neck issues his little stupid 10-page memo, responding to Nunes' memo, where Pencil Neck thinks he's set Trump up for a giant scam by putting all kinds of stuff in there that Trump's going to have to redact, allowing Pencil Neck to accuse Trump of not wanting the American people to see what the Democrats dug up here. It's all a scam. It's all a sham. They're bringing this back to uh, embarrass or discredit Schiff by showing his zealotry in nailing Trump. So let's all start. April 10th, 2017, two Russian comedians known as Vovin and Alexis called and spoke with Pencil Neck, pretending to be the Speaker of the Ukrainian Parliament, Andre Perubi. They told him he was Andre Perubi. Here is a portion of the call between Vovin, who is posing as the Ukrainian Speaker of the Parliament, and Pencil Neck. Could I explain you where we are? Yes, of course. I would just caution that our Russian friends may be listening to the conversation, so I wouldn't share anything over the phone that you don't want them to hear. No, I don't think that it will impact on our investigation. In November 2013, Mr. Trump visited Moscow. He visited uh, competition Miss Universe, and there he met uh, with Russian journalist and celebrity Ksenia Sobchak. She became famous because of Putin is her godfather. 
Okay, Putin is godfather. Okay. She met with Trump and she brought him one hour Russian girl, celebrity Olga Buzova, who also known as a person with a strange reputation. And she got uh, compromising materials on Trump after their short <laughs> relations. <laughs> and Schiff is falling for this hook, line, and sinker. And you notice that Schiff thinks that he's being surveilled. He thinks he's being wiretapped. Yes, of course. I, I would and very serious, like an NPR announcer. I would uh, I would just caution that uh, our Russian friends may be listening to the conversation. So I would share anything over the phone that you wouldn't want them to hear. <laughs> this guy's got a perfect. Russian accent. So Schiff has just been told that Trump was in Moscow for the Miss Universe pageant, which he owns, and he met with a Russian journalist and celebrity, Putin's uh, goddaughter. And and uh, that interested Schiff. She met with Trump, brought him one of our Russian girl celebrity, Olga Buzova, known as a person with a strange reputation. <laughs> You just see Pencil Neck's tongue looking this all up on the phone. So Schiff now, he next salivates at the prospect of these naked pictures of Trump. Okay. And what's the nature of the compromise? Well, there were pictures of naked Trump. Okay. And so Putin was made aware of the, the availability of the compromising material? Yes, of course, uh, Buzova shared those materials with uh, Sobchak, and Sobchak shares those materials with uh, Putin, because she's a goddaughter of Putin, and Putin decided to press on Trump. <laughs> and Pencil next buying this. Out of nowhere, the Speaker of the Ukrainian Parliament calls him, starts telling him this stuff. And Pencil Neck doesn't track it down for a while, just accepts it. Now, why would you accept it? Because you believe it, and you and you think everybody in the world is on your side and hates Trump and wants to embarrass him and get rid of him. So next, they convince Schiff. <laughs> they convince Pencil Neck that Mike Flynn met with Russian agents at a cafe in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn where they were recorded using code words. You have recordings of both Sovchek and Buseva where they're discussing the compromising material on Mr. Trump? Absolutely. And uh, we also know who was a mediator between Trump and Russian government, who met with uh, ex-advisor of Trump, uh, Mr. Flynn. It was a Russian singer, very famous singer, Arkady Ukupnik, who met with Mr. Flynn on uh, Brighton Beach in Brooklyn, in a special Russian cafe, Langeron. What's the name of the cafe? Uh, uh, Langeron. Langeron? Yes, it's on the Brighton Beach. The most interesting thing is they use the special password before their meetings. They say it, weather is good on Deribasovskaya. Weather is good in where? Weather is good on Deribasovskaya. There is a name of a street in Odessa. It's a street in Odessa? Yes. And the, the code word is weather is good on Deribasta? Deribasovskaya. Deribasovskaya. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I'll have my staff follow up to get spellings and more details. <laughs> it's two comedians, folks. It's two comedians leading Schiff like he's on a little leash. Brighton Beach, a password before they start. Michael Flynn meeting with important person, also celebrity, very famous singer. Arkady <laughs> Ukubnik. Schiff's writing all this down. We have... We have one more. If this is not absurd enough, these guys convince Schiff that he should use the code word on Trump himself. The code word that Flynn used meeting the Russian at a cafe at Brighton Beach. These guys convince Schiff that he should try the code word on Trump. The second part of their password was uh, it rains again on Brighton Beach. It rains again on Brighton Beach. Yes. On that meeting, Ukupnik told Flynn that uh, all those compromising materials will never be released if uh, Trump will cancel all Russian sanctions. Okay. Well, obviously, we would welcome a chance to get copies of those recordings. 
This is very helpful. I appreciate it. Anything else you wanted to uh, to add today? I also would like to advise you when you or your colleagues will meet Mr. Trump. I advise you to tell him uh, first part of the password. The weather is good on Deribasovska, and look how his uh, face will change the color. And so those passwords were used with Mr. Trump. Yes, correct. Okay. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, you know, folks, it's just you can see Schiff salivating over this. He really thinks that that they've got these nude photos of Trump and that Putin has told Trump he's going to release them if Trump doesn't cancel the san sanctions. So it's exactly what the Democrats want the American people to believe is happening. Passwords. <laughs> Watch his face change color. Deribasovka, and look how his face will change the color. The weather is good in Deribasovka. Schiff had trouble because he had a word in front of him. I had trouble pronouncing that too. If I only had um, had heard it. All right, so that's that. I, I just think it's again. It's from last April. Nobody knew about it. It's, it's resurfacing now because of Schiff and his you know, little tiny memo here that. He's using to try to distract away from the newness memo. Quick time out, back with more after this. Now, I should tell you, long after these phone calls between Schiff and these two comedians, Schiff's staff was pestering these people via email for these documents. They wanted documents confirming a nude photos of Trump that Putin had. They wanted the names of these uh, singers that were uh, Trump's, uh, Putin's goddaughter. And so they were, they were following this up. The Schiff's claim that he knew it was a hoax all along is a complete lie. And that's, that's how he tried it. Of course, everybody was, I knew it was a hoax. I would just play it along with it. Who knows where it would go? I was just having fun. He fell for it. That's the thing. Now, one of the reasons why this, to me, has a bit of relevance, Adam Schiff, like many in the drive-by media, have called Donald Trump Jr., A criminal. And some have even used the word treason on Trump Jr. for trying to get dirt on Hillary. Remember when that Russian honeypot called? Under false premise to get a meeting with Trump, Trump Jr., she wanted a Russian adoption, the McGinsky Act, but they lied and said that they had dirt from the Kremlin on Hillary. So they took the meeting and it went 30 seconds Jared Kushner bugs out of this thing. The point is that Adam Schiff is trying to say that Donald Trump Jr. is just a horrible, rotten guy. But Schiff was doing the same thing here. Schiff was doing the same thing. Schiff fell for a total prank. And he followed it up. Schiff looking for dirt on Trump. I guess that's perfectly normal and legitimate. But Donald Trump Jr. being offered dirt on Hillary from the Russians, why, we can't have that. But here's another thing. If, if Pencil Neck here, if this sanctimonious, arrogant little guy, if this guy is so gullible that he would fall for this, what else has this guy fallen for? What else does this guy believe you know, he's the lead investigator on the House Intelligence Committee. Is, I mean, well, he's, he's the Democrat chairman. He's the leader of the Democrats on the committee. I don't know, you know how, if he's top-ranking investigator himself, but he's right up there. What else does this guy believe? What else has he been told?